The New York Giants face a number of interesting and difficult decisions in setting their 90-man roster, which NFL teams have to do on August 29th, a week from now, as we get closer and closer to the NFL season. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. Ed Valentine of Big Blue View here with your Valentine's Views podcast. Please like, share, and subscribe on YouTube and subscribe across the Big Blue View Radio Network wherever you listen to podcasts. All right, on Monday, we discussed the Giants' position battles on the offensive side of the ball. Interesting battles at almost every position there, interesting choices for the Giants to make. And today we're going to be discussing the uh, defensive position battles. And just like on offense, there are interesting decisions to be made at every position along the Giants' defense. There will be some surprises. There will be some things that that I don't expect, that you don't expect. But let's talk about some of the possibilities as we get closer and closer to the Giants setting their initial 53-man roster. And a reminder, I say initial because it's not final. It's just a beginning. There will be waiver claims. There will be moves throughout the season. So this is just a starting point for what the Giants roster will be. The roster that gets set on the 29th will absolutely not be the roster that faces the Dallas Cowboys week one. Uh, That's September 10th. So we'll see what happens. But it's a starting point for the Giants. And uh, so let's go through some of the position battles ongoing as the Giants face decision day here. And we'll start with the defensive line. And I think it's pretty obvious at this point who the five defensive linemen are for the Giants. Of course, there's Dexter Lawrence. Of course, there's Leonard Williams. Giants signed two quality veteran backups in Raheem Nunez Roches and A. Sean Robinson as free agents during the offseason. It's absolutely apparent that seventh round pick Jordan Riley, guy who's been incredibly impressive throughout training camp and the preseason. It's absolutely apparent that Jordan Riley will be making the roster. Wink Martindale sings this kid's praises constantly. His position coach, Andre Patterson, who's had a history of developing Collegiate players whose performance on the field didn't match their athletic traits off the field. He's had a history of developing those kinds of players. Thinks that Riley could be another one of those kinds of players. Riley has made a bunch of plays uh, against the run, particularly in the second preseason game against the Carolina Panthers. Jordan Riley is making the Giants 53-man roster. Just incredible that the Giants uncovered a player like this, that that it seems no one else was interested in. And, and I'm not predicting superstardom for Jordan Riley. But if you remember, Damon Snacks, Harrison, former New York Jet, former Giant, tremendous run defender for a few years until his knees pretty much uh, brought him an, an end to his NFL career. Damon Snacks, Harrison was an undrafted free agent. So... A guy like this, a guy like Riley, could become a player. And uh, this guy was on no one else's radar. This is a guy, though, that the Giants identified as having skills that they valued at the defensive tackle position. They did their homework. They drafted this guy. And right now, this is looking like a move that could pay dividends. And obviously training camp, whatever happens in the spring, whatever happens in the summer, whatever happens in the preseason games does not mean that a guy is going to carry that over to the regular season. Things change in the regular season. Things are a lot different when the starters are playing all the time, when teams are game planning, all of those kinds of things. But right now, Jordan Riley looks like he could develop into a player. A couple of other young players, 
fifth round pick a year ago, DJ Davidson, an undrafted free agent uh, a year ago, Ryder Anderson, who's been nursing a triceps injury and hasn't practiced now in, in two or three weeks. Those guys, I think, are candidates for the Giants practice squad. I wouldn't be surprised to see both of those guys make the practice squad. But I also I will say I would be surprised if the Giants keep more than five pure down defensive linemen. Let's go to the edge position for the Giants. And we know that the Giants have two highly drafted, impressive young edge rushers with incredible ceilings in 2022 first round pick Kayvon Thibodeau and 2021 second round pick Aziz Ojolari. We know that the Giants have veteran Jihad Ward as the third edge rusher, as the rotational guy, maybe even a guy that plays with his hand in the ground on occasion. Ward's a quality veteran depth and a locker room leader. What we don't know is who else will be joining those three guys on the roster. Toman Fox and O'Shane Zimenez are both in camp and both guys were on the 53-man roster last year. I think Toman Fox has been good this summer. He's made some plays. He's had some impact in the pass rush when he's been in some of the preseason games. I think Toman Fox makes the roster. I'm not so sure about Zimenez. It's been a pretty quiet summer for Zimenez. Wouldn't be surprised if the Giants, once roster cuts are made across the league next week, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the Giants move on from O'Shane Zimenez and look for a veteran player who's maybe had a little bit more success in the league, guy who can, can come in and give them a little bit more juice and maybe a little bit better run defense you know, when uh, when he's asked to play. So I think there's question marks at that spot. I think uh, Habakkuk Baldonado, who's an undrafted free agent, had had a sack, had a couple of impressive plays in the first preseason game against the Detroit Lions. For me, he's a candidate purely for the practice squad. I can't see him making the 53-man roster. That, to me, would be a massive surprise, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if he's part of the practice squad. So, so the edge position for me is one where you have to look for the Giants to perhaps be seeking upgrades once uh, teams across the league make uh, make roster moves here in another week. Inside linebacker is another interesting spot for the Giants. It's a spot where we know they have Bobby Okereke. We know they have Micah McFadden. We know they have Darian Beavers. I'm honestly not certain who else makes this roster. Cam Brown and Carter Coughlin are guys that have been on this roster for the last few years. Neither one of those guys, I think Coughlin played six defensive snaps last year. I think Cam Brown played three. Both of those in the final pre or in the final regular season game against the Eagles when the Giants did not play starters. Those two guys are special team players first, almost exclusively special teams players. They're guys that the Giants really don't want to see on the defense on the field on defense. Unless you get into a situation where it's an emergency and you have to play them. My guess at this point is that only one of those two guys makes the roster. And I think the guy who's going to make the roster out of those two, my guess right now would be Carter Coughlin. Partially because Cam Brown has been sidelined for a while with an injury. And partially also because... Coughlin, to me, when I watch him play, Coughlin is a better defensive player. He's a better linebacker. Use one of these guys, then I think that the, the idea would be that Coughlin is a better defensive player than... Uh, than Cam Brown 
and should probably be part of the Giants 53 man roster. All right, let's uh let's move on to the cornerback spot where uh where the Giants are it looks like they're going to be starting a pair of rookies, Deontay Banks and Trey Hawkins, sixth round pick. Looks like Adoree Jackson's going to be the guy on the uh on the inside most of the time on the in the slot. I think Cordale Flott, third round pick a year ago, is probably a lock to make the roster. I think that uh Darnay Holmes, guy who I have said consistently could be I think that that Darnay Holmes is a guy who could make the 53 man roster simply based on the fact that I'm not sure there's anybody else there right now. You're looking at uh Amani Oruarie, Zion Gilbert, Darren Darren Evans, the Giants cut Rodarius Williams the other day. I'm just not sure there are any other real options there for the Giants right now. Nick McLeod's played some corner, some safety. McLeod will probably make the roster as a as a combo player, defensive back. But I think this is another spot where the Giants, once cuts are made in a few days, it's another spot where the Giants could easily be looking to uh, to upgrade the, the veteran depth at cornerback. I know a year ago they brought in Fabian Moreau to the practice squad and eventually brought him up to the roster, and Moreau played fairly well. The Giants moved on from him in the offseason. But I think this is a spot, especially – since it looks like Aaron Robinson, who's on the, the physically unable to perform list right now, has been the entirety of uh, of training camp and of the preseason. He does not appear to be ready to come off that list at this point in time. His name doesn't come up very much in, in conversations with Brian Dable. So I'd be surprised if Aaron Robinson is ready to begin the 2023 season. He's a guy that the Giants drafted in the third round a couple of years ago, had high hopes for, but has had a hard time getting on the field, and that continues to be the case. So for me, this is another spot where Darnay Holmes' chance to make the roster is, I think, better than it was when training camp started, simply because of the way things have worked out although I'm still not 100% sold that the Giants won't simply look at Holmes and, and decide to take the $2.7 million, um, the $2.7 million savings that they could make on the salary cap if they cut him. But uh, I do think that this might be a spot where the Giants look for veteran depth once cuts are made. All right, the other position to talk about is safety. And the real question here at safety isn't who starts. That's going to be Jason Pinnock alongside of Xavier McKinney. The real question for me is whether or not veteran safety Bobby McCain signed in the offseason as a potential replacement for Julian Love will actually make this roster. And my answer right now is that I do not think so. Brian Dable said the other day that it's going to be very difficult for players, for backup players who do not play special teams to make the roster. And Bobby McCain is a veteran backup player who does not play special teams. Has not, I think he's played six special teams snaps over the last three seasons. Go back throughout his career. He's never been a regular special teams contributor. I think you're looking at a situation beyond McKinney and Pinnock where the Giants have fourth round pick Dane Belton from 2022 who makes the roster, Nick McLeod who can play corner and safety who makes the roster, seventh round pick Javarius Owens who's been fairly impressive so far in the preseason and can also play special teams. I think he makes the roster 
I think undrafted free agent safety Alex Cook probably makes the practice squad. I think that Bobby McCain is most likely an odd man out here as the Giants set their 53-man roster. All right, Giants fans, that's that's the show for today. We thank you, as always, for listening. Please stay safe out there, take care of each other, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.